good evening to all of you hi uh, can you uh, can you hear me can you please confirm if you can hear me hi hi thanks so uh, we had uh, 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 thanks so uh, let me again for those who are joining for the first time give you the details of the session and this is a one hour session in which first half an hour is taken by me and the next half an hour is taken by vivek sir and we discuss our market view for the next week okay so uh, i will uh, begin my my part first and there is very little scope for question taking for those who are in our stockage club or in the tmp they can uh, whatever question they can have they can um, ask in this stockage social platform in any of the club and uh, uh, those who are in the tmp can do it uh, through the through the whatsapp group we are having uh, but there will be very little scope of taking questions because this is a short session okay now let me begin we had a uh, we had a very uh, strongly negative week this week uh, apart from the first day we are having continuously having this kind of fall uh, it started on monday and see uh, the precursor of everything precursor of this fall was actually worry about uh, the global worry about the inflation and uh, i was quite surprised uh, on the first place when the global rally took place on the very beginning of the uh, of the year and i was i was thinking what is driving it because in my mind there was no reason actually to see such a kind of a rally because what we were seeing is that was an unprecedented rise in uh, crude prices so this is the crude price and i and 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 in the in the in the very last week also when crude was here at 81 i said that we would be soon reaching towards 90 and see in this week we made a high of about 8710 and possibly uh, uh, in uh, yes this was a brief correction and uh, price drops towards 83 and we will again possibly see towards this 95 and 100 uh, level the reason behind uh, that uh, let me explain you through this just a second so to why i am uh, for a long time talking about uh, crude oil uh, prices why it is going to go up is this chart see this chart is taken from the uh, taken from the opec monthly oil report chart and you can see what happened is that this is the global uh, developed market inventory okay so the oecd commercial oil stocks okay now what was happening uh, that time was during covid you see suddenly uh, the uh, crude oil inventory went up a lot because uh, the globe was on lockdown and no one was uh, traveling and that is the time the inventory went up and to actually and that push uh, the crude oil prices to 20s and now uh, to cut down the uh, inventory what opec started uh, doing is that opec started uh, cutting down its production if i if i go to you this okay So, this is the webinar uh, 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 that I am going to take tomorrow. I am giving you a glimpse of uh, this. Uh, uh, so, this is the open oil monthly report. I am giving you a glimpse of what I am going to tell you. Just a second.
So page 57, we need to go to this, uh, this report. So, so you can see uh, what OPEC uh, did is that, see, from a very high production level, OPEC production came down to 25. Earlier in 2019, OPEC was producing almost 30 million barrel per day. Here in 2020, to cut down this infantry, what you were seeing here, OPEC cut down its production to 25.6. And after that, the crude oil stock globally has come down very, very sharply. And that is the reason what you see is that unprecedented rise in this crude oil that is happening. Okay. Now, uh, it came down in December in the Omicron fear, but again, it is rising. And I have been uh, very vocal about this when crude oil was around this time last year, this time when uh, actually uh, Donald Trump actually lost and Biden's policies are such that he is cutting down in domestic production that crude oil will possibly reach 100, I told around that point of time. And, I continue to have this view that crude oil possibly is going to 90 to 100. And not only crude oil, because crude oil is an input to most of the global commodities. You will see all the commodities, because crude oil is an input to energy, is an input to everything. That zinc futures, like these are weekly charts, you can see how uh, the aluminum futures are going up. All right. Like this. Okay. Uh, you can see. Uh, not only aluminium futures, you can see the zinc futures, okay, just here. How they have gone up uh, from pre-COVID era, okay, lifetime high. Nickel is obviously because of this uh, uh, global push of electric vehicle due to high oil prices at lifetime high. But everything is at lifetime high. Nickel is especially bullish. If you see soya bean, uh, that is the source of uh, uh, plant-based protein is one of the uh, like near 2012 high okay that is how it is trading if you if you see any commodity any commodity you can see the corn future you can see that how much we are up uh, from the recent years so there is a there is an inflation push everywhere there is an inflation push everywhere and that is how uh, just a second uh, that is how we have been reacting. If you see what happened is that after this huge inflation push, what happened? Uh, this this is the US 10 year bond yield has gone past 1.8 and had gone close to 1.9. Okay, it has pulled back, but it is not likely to pull back because inflation is likely to stay here. And since COVID, if you can see, since COVID, we did below two. So we in when normal situation returns, the bond deal will return about two because the kind of money printing has gone up. And at that point of time, you can see a further strengthening in the dollar index. So this is the dollar index. Because it has run earlier, it is sitting merrily. But you remember last week when it was at 94.8, I say that highly likely it will bottom out here and go up it actually did the very same thing it went up and that is why uh, our initial rally in the equities and all the asset classes of the, due to dollar weakness as dollar started strengthening again you can right now see the kind of dip we see in the nifty okay now what i was expecting personally that uh, in this kind of an environment, uh, IT would do good, but IT actually laid the fall. If, if we see last week chart, uh, last week chart, we can see the Nifty IT laid the fall. Okay, so I was expecting that IT would do good. See IT and pharma, the most defensive sectors actually laid the fall. And what were holding up were the banks and autos and the energy obviously because uh, the crude oil prices were going up so we had a very sharp fall and let us now from this point of time look at what things can happen okay now uh, if we if we have seen that uh, the results that it sector has reported they were also phenomenal and from that point of view i still uh, 
the it part i will uh, take care later but what i can see right now for the nifty see this 17500 is a is a very important zone and below 17500 we we may reach for a zone of 17,100. So this is a very crucial zone, 17,500. Ispar, uspar. Like, see, after three days, the market first time tried to bottom out here. And if I, if I, if I'm looking at all in the bank Nifty also. So if I look at the bank Nifty also, uh, it 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 formed a kind of a hammer. If, if I open uh, it, it is, sorry, the mid Bollinger place. So from mid Bollinger, it tried to bottom out and uh, had a very close, uh, strong closing. Though it was very volatile. If I, if I show you the 15 minute chart, you will understand the level of volatility in Bank Nifty today. It was, it was tremendously volatile, unimaginable kind of volatile for all the days because Bank Nifty is not trying to fall. So, you can see the kind of volatility first fall then rise then fall then rise every day it has been very very volatile it has not been a very free fall in terms of bank nifty in terms of nifty still you can say you are having uh, because of the nifty it you are having kind of a, a cleaner correction though last uh, moment uh, up was here also but much more cleaner fall you were having in nifty so in in terms of price action it was still clearer a uh, tradable uh, for nifty bank nifty was literally untradable okay now uh, in terms of the sector if i if i come to the sectors right now so nifty it obviously fell brutally but the factor is that if i if i i will go back to the weekly chart for sector analysis it came back to the uh, mid bollinger uh, quite unlikely fall i was not expecting it to be honest and uh, still i will remain bullish in uh, nifty it if if it stays above this 36200 because if you if you read uh, the commentary of the it companies which came out with the result uh, this thing the tcs the infi the infi ceo used the word there was a demand explosion in terms of digital transformation so very unlikely that in such a strong uh, business uh, uh, environment that stocks can fall very strongly obviously infi did not fall very strongly but if i talk about stocks like oipro okay just a second fell very strongly and now just at support of 605 if i talk about tech mahindra had a very strong fall if i talk to you about um, acl take it had a very brutal fall as you can see but as i am saying i will still uh, be cautiously bullish in nifty in nifty it if it remains above the nifty it remains above this because of the kind of business environment as we hear it remains above this mid mid uh, uh, mid bollinger 36200 okay that is the level 36200 we have to observe uh, see rsi is still above 50 in the weekly time frame this has been a strong week of correction, but this kind of strong correction have happened earlier also. That does not uh, uh, seem to be the end of IT. Okay, so what did good towards the uh, end of the week is Nifty FMCG. That is due to the stock of uh, uh, Hindustan Unilever. This is the stock came out with a better set of result and we saw a bounce in weekly chart we have to observe it but uh, trust me it does not look good okay nifty bank still look good of all the indices if i if i see very small red candle can bounce from here 
if i am talking about nifty metal picking can bounce from here near support and given the way the metal prices are rallying we may see a bounce in nifty metal nifty auto did well actually this week and as it happens in a run up to the budget and uh, on the budget day itself we will find the monthly sales numbers and out of the tata motor looks tata motors look reasonably uh, fine as a stock can possibly break out of this 535 530 540 zone and go a lot upwards due to the if there is some good news in the ev front what did well this week was all the uh, all the sugar stocks like balram chini okay so balram chini if you can see overall has been going up as the crude oil prices are going up our sugar so all these uh, sugar stocks had been going up also few stocks like textile stocks vtl vardhaman textile is going up on a daily basis uh, be, be because of this uh, expectation from budget so all these themes would play out uh, uh, next week also because next week is run up to budget final week towards budget and next week is a truncated week like you know that 26th is uh, due to for the republic and day we have a holiday okay so these uh, things on 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 uh, on on sidelines of the main uh, part of the market were doing good but as a whole i would say the market was very weak and the problem with our market is and with the modern market is because of this a lot of our uh, derivative uh, positioning is that see the run up and the fall are equally sharp what used to happen earlier is uh, that this run ups used to be slower in normal market the run ups used to be slower falls used to be slower but since the liquidity has taken uh, up so the run ups are also very sharp like it goes up almost 2000 points or 1900 point in a span of 11 trading day and in a four trading day it gives up 7 800 points out of that so very very strong moves in terms of uh, uh, the way market has started behaving post covid uh, it is very difficult i would say right now for next week it won't be difficult again if you, if you if you follow the levels in nifty so if nifty is below 18500 you should play on the lower side or short side if nifty is playing uh, on the up side 18550 above that or 18 above 18600 you should trade from the bullish side in the nifty but but please remember one major factor this as long as this crude go continues to go up we will be in a situation where our uh, uh, our Uh, domestic economy may not do a lot of good let me go to the investing.com and i will show you how uh, this thing will play out okay so going to the economic calendar and uh, see uh, this is the indian forex reserve okay this has been a jump uh, uh this week but overall if you if you look at the chart okay uh, if you look at the chart instead of five hour year if i if i can have a smaller time frame chart you can see from a top of 642 we have been declining we have been declining continuously declining and why this is due to huge selling uh, by fii because there is a very crucial election uh, that is pending right now and this crucial election will decide the fate of the market uh, in near term i think like uh, on march uh, when when the march 31st result will come out uh, if uh, the same government is uh, elected in up you may or may not get a rally but if the same government get defeated in up i uh, possibly uh, i will possibly expect that the market will go towards 14 15000 as soon as if there is a defeat of the ruling party in the up so 
so and I, I if you remember in the last session i told all of you to uh, buy this so if i go to the nsc.india.com at the beginning of the week uh, i asked all of you to buy this in the last friday session this put okay so if i go to the nifty 50 just a second index future nifty okay seven chain option data uh, so just a second so i asked all of you to buy this 31st march put and that was around 230 240 rupees at that point of time and this has become 412 this is not for trading purpose for only hedging purpose so on a weekly basis if you see this has jumped from 200 to 30 to 40 last friday i asked all of you to buy this and it has become this is not trading purpose if nifty goes up from here it will again become 150 or so not for trading purpose but for the purpose of the hedging in terms of the up election result i asked all of you that time hedging cost was only 1.1 or 1.2 percent of your portfolio as i was saying all of you buy and now it has become double of that okay now if not double almost two percent of your portfolio it has become or 2.3 percent so if you had bought earlier uh, last week if you have attended last week's session and had bought this put you would be in a good position right now at least in terms of hedging your portfolio in terms of 10th uh, march uh, result okay now let us talk about the stocks that we discuss in the tmp okay uh, i am very proud that in this environment also we have been able to give stocks which have been doing very very well irrespective of the market fall and uh, because most of the traders are trading on the long side in this environment also we uh, sh share ideas which are which are we share fewer ideas in the booming market we share four or five ideas in a day or six seven ideas in a day in this uh, kind of market we shared one or two uh, ideas in a day and i will show you what kind of ideas we have shared so nazara yesterday i shared okay so nazara see when this breakout happened at 25 i shared it went up almost six seven percent uh, from the level i shared so you can understand obviously it came down today uh, i came down uh, below the price but if you had bought yesterday it was locked in upper circuit went up okay today another uh, idea i was saying i i, I shared is siemens india okay again as the breakout happened i shared uh, and it went up almost 50, 30 35 rupees during the day i'm not saying that you had a huge gain in it it came came down later also but even in this bearish market if you can share ideas which which goes up one and one to two percent in a day that is great and what about this this was the uh, this was a very power packed idea power india and did phenomenally well hitachi energy okay so uh, I shared it uh, uh, in the TMP. If you see, so any any TMP group, I will, I will go. So see, at 11:29 when I shared this idea, it was 2962. Okay. Now look at what the stock did. What the stock did. Uh, if if I, if I if i go in terms of 15 minute chart you will find from 2962 the stock went to 3200 okay made a 3210 2962 to 3200 and then actually it fell in the later half of the day and then some sporadic price action i'm not saying that uh, uh, if you had carried the stock it would be only in two percent gain but think of the kind of uh, stocks we are sharing kind of and a uh, few ping me personally also that sir how do you how do you find out such stocks see every day what i do is that uh, i i follow almost 400 stocks and, and and each of the stock i will go manually i will go manually and uh, try to see in the daily chart i will try to see that what are the 
kind of momentum it is having what are the indicators saying and what are the levels that will break out and i will put alert on 400 stock this exercise takes me almost two to two and a half hours per uh, i would say and I try to find out that which stock is likely to give a breakout. See, Hindalco also gave a breakout, but I thought that Hindalco uh, breakout was uh, alert was not also not a great alert to trade for today. So I did not share this idea. Adani transmission uh, uh, shared, but I thought that okay, it was not looking great. So I did not share the idea. But to to find out this kind of ideas, you need to look at uh, chart manually and always, not always the scanning can do everything. Okay, uh, scanning is a great way uh, because when I, when, I, when I go there, the scan that I most uh, use is uh, that if I go to the price scans, I always uh, look at the 52 week uh, zone and a close within 52 high zone. I always look at what new stock is coming that uh, close within 52 high zone because see those stocks which are already bullish will be doing good because in market what happens is that whatever is good continues to be better in the market. So that's why I always uh, look at this universe of stocks to find out my universe and there will be a lot of stocks uh, around 250 to 60 stocks in this. Now looking at them manually is very important. Okay, if, if, if uh, so what I what you can do is that you can just download this list and this is this is the best scan that I find uh, in the in the entire uh, uh, universe if you want you can just uh, are you sure you want to download see you can download it open okay now you can see you have a list of stocks which are in a super bullish mode 250 only today because uh, the market is a little bit bearish but in a normal day we'll get 3 350 so what do you do you nothing uh, this is the symbol okay so it is very easy to do the the thing that i want to do okay now what you do is is equal to this and This formula, what you do is that you run through all of them. So a comma is added after everything. Now, for tomorrow's analysis, what I will do is that I will copy this list. Okay. So there is one more. So I will copy. What I will do is I will copy this to list QVXR has shown it multiple uh, number of times how to do it i'm just showing you once you copy this list okay now you go to the trading view you go to the trading view okay uh, in the watch list you create a new watch list okay suppose i want to create a new watch list uh, Just a second. Not here. Just a second. In the watch list. Okay, create new list. So today, uh, so fifty two week high zone. to in high zone okay 
okay so in the new list what i can do is that i can paste the thing and then enter so what will happen is that all the uh, stocks that i that i that i created in the 52 week high zone will come uh, into into my list and then what i i can do i can align them and i can i can see see power india was the most bullish linde was the second bullish so they came in in my radar and if 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 i if i analyze this way it will make my life easier i can right now see which are the already bullish stocks and i can manually assign levels in which i want to enter them so that is how even in this market also there are certain stock stock specific opportunities we can find and we can enter so this is a way in which only bullish stocks universe of 250 260 i can find out and sort out and find in which i want to trade them because those in the those which are in the 52 week high zone will act bullishly the stocks which are not in the 52 week high zone won't be very bullish because in life also in stock market also the good bets gets better the better gets to the best position so it is very fine scan to find out this 52 week high zone scan uh, so thanks this was uh, uh, from my side i will uh, uh, just before ending i would uh, like to show you one small thing just a second tomorrow i am going to uh, going to held this webinar so uh, i am quite excited uh, uh, that tomorrow 3 pm we are going to have this session so uh, if anyone of you are interested in commodity trading you, you please join we will discuss a lot of a uh, lot of interesting things here so that's from my side want to hand over to vivek sir hi sir can you hear me yes i can hear you uh, very good evening Hi. Thank you. Okay. Are you able to see me? Okay. Are you able to see me and hear me? For audible. Uh, audible. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Rajanji, Mukesh, Aru, Shrinivas, Abhishek Padar, Madhusudan, Sanjeev. Okay. So let me start first of all. Uh, by telling you guys that I've lost money today, but I'm still smiling because losing money is part of market. Didn't I smile when I was making money for the last 10 days? And if I've lost some money out of the money which I made in last 10 days, I should smile. And this is the most important learning we all should get about this market that making money and losing money as part of the market how does it work so first of all when you start in the market <clears throat> typically when you start in the market say for example you make some money so you go like this and you lose at least 20 percent of that money okay so apne so se chalu kiya. Apne, suppose 120 rupiah banaya. 20 percent you will lose that means 20 which you made 20% you lost, 24 you lost. So you come back to 116 or 115. Then again you go up and you lose 20%. Again you go up and you lose 20%. But the fact that you go up, it should always be higher in terms of making money in percentage terms than the loss which you may have because you are losing money. Obviously, 20% is on the higher side. It's not any khote generally especially if you are invested in a strong stock typically you will in a bull market you will not lose more than 10 15 percent of the profit which you have made max 15 percent 10 percent on an average person like a fair wapas the market up hope who passive we recover karate data or nay passive up go wapas se data hai so today i lost money and last 10 days i was making money so if you are trading in cash market, you have this advantage of because you are not leverage, you have this advantage of getting into the stock when the price is going down. Sure, you may have got into the stock 
when the price was going up and today the stock has come down you have to book loss it's okay because say out of 20 25 trades maybe three four five trades you will have to book loss but the rest 15 16 17 20 trades you're still in profit and whenever market recovers you will continue with the profit typically what i have seen over a period of time with my experience that whatever profit you make you will eventually lose 20 percent of that profit in that whole bull market so say i started from 100 and i reached 500 in this entire bull market which is i made 400 20 percent of 400 is 80. so may the pounds so say the market correct karega so by the time market reaches down i will be losing for 80 percent 80 of my capital so i will be net left with 420 so i started with 100 and I will be net left with 420. It's not practically possible that we will all be able to exit at the high point of the market because no one can predict the high point of the market. Do you agree to this? Do you agree to this? Mujhe pata hai ki aaj haakar machi hai charo taraf. Haire market gir gaya, hai paise lag. It's okay. I know some people would be feeling so terrible or mujhe actually wo kar rahe honge <clears throat> you know mujhe course rahe honge ki ye dekho paise lag gaye aur yahan ki gyan de raha hai but you know this is market this is this is really the market and we will lose money we will make money and eventually we all will succeed in the market okay i still remember that march 2020 when i was losing lot of money in market but I was smart enough to exit early. So if my capital exposure was this much, because I was able to exit the stock price with my short term indicators, my net capital allocation remained only this much. So when market recovered, I was able to pump in a lot of capital because the rallies just started. And because I was able to pump in a lot of capital, that capital here became this. And I know this much ka 20% to lagna hi hai. Jitra banao ge, uska 20% to lagna hi hai. Dekhi jana padega market ko. You can't take it home. 10%, 20% market lega. Government tax lega. To net mein aap dekho ge, aapki kamai ka, if you are active in the market, aapki earning ka 40-50% chala gaya. Which is okay. Because what you start is with a small capital and you generate good return out of that small capital. So today, I, you know, I wanted to calm you all because I know there'll be a lot of ifs and buts about market and how things are happening, bad or good. Khali, is there a problem? Because those who are late, they have a problem. That those who are late, they lose the market in the market. So if you start from 100, you lose 20, 30, and then you, when you lose money from your own capital, you typically are low in confidence. So, wo papas recover karne mein time lagta hai. Recover hota hai. But it will take some time to recover from that loss zone. So, some of you may, may have come into the market late. Some of you may have come into the market early, depending upon what stage of the market movement we have entered in. So, you see, most of the people who have come late, they will have a lot of, uh, you know, problem they will have they will not be comfortable with the market right now which is very very obvious so you stay stay hold on because this market may as a scenario raiga many are so wait with kia that twitter picky yeah well market situation say joe love market by a slave do teen salmi they have to give huh kya bula the many but who up go Sita ki tarah aapko bhi fire ka test dena padega. So this is the test going on. Now you have to decide whether you will get inside that fire or you will be able to pass that test. Okay, so this is a little open-ended gyan wali baat ho ki. There will be some people who may not like this conversation. But chaliye abhi market ko dekhte hain. And how do we handle this situation? How do we handle our nerves? You have to be 100% sure what you are doing. And you will have to 
have one model which you trust for example rs model i trust rs model. and if you don't trust your friend then obviously you will have jitteriness ki mujhe kahan leke ja raha hai so at some point of time you will have to develop that confidence and trust in your model i trust my rs model maybe you will have to adapt it or maybe you have to create a better model than me whom you can trust and trust only comes if you are hands on with that agar aap apne dost ke sath mein khud regularly baat nahi karte hain to aapko trust nahi aayega once in a blue moon agar aapne kisi dost ke sath mulakat ki hai to aapko trust nahi aayega if you talk to your friend every day then you will build more trust with that guy so you have to practice rs every day you have to practice market every day to reach that level of trust in your system that in these kind of market scenario where market is not behaving the right way where you want it to be then obviously you have to keep that now that only comes if you have a trust on your system all right so let me just uh, uh okay i'm i am not saying that you know i can see a lot of questions so you know let me just clarify that questions hum log nahi lenge because you know these sessions are meant uh, to express what we want to express to you these are not a discussion session so um, kindly do not post any question and please focus on what i am saying because questions can actually digress our thought process to main apna video band kar raha hu and let us go to market and see what is happening in the market okay so this is the market uh, let's talk about nifty so nifty gave a very good recovery and this was quite a surprise market move market went up dollar went down and pretty much was a perfect setup for nifty to go up but unfortunately this nifty had some other plan and it just reversed from its previous high so this is weekly chart वीकली चार्ट में कैंडल है डेली लाइन चार्ट है उससे घूम गया ये इट्स नॉट अ गुड साइन हैविंग सेड दैट यू सी द डॉलर व्हाई इट रिवर्स बिकॉज समवेयर डॉलर स्टार्टेड शोइंग सम काइंड ऑफ अ ट्रेंड रिवर्सल बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली यू नो वी कैन कॉल इट अ ट्रेंड रिवर्सल बट बट द फैक्ट रिमेन्स दैट डॉलर ऑन अ शॉर्ट टर्म इज गोइंग डाउन मोस्ट लाइकली डॉलर विल गो डाउन and most likely all the emerging markets metals etc will go up so this is a correction which probably is also because of jitteriness coming into the market because of the upcoming budget and also if you see us yield curve 10 year yield curve has gone up that means inflationary concern is there and two year yield curve what is two year yield curve two year yield curve is a short term yield curve and 10 year yield curve is a long term yield curve to ye jo baatein waise bahut din se chal rahi hai baat ki yield curve is going up so market should stop and obviously fed is coming out with a statement jaise march ke andar mein ek almost 100% certainty ho gayi hai ki fed apna interest rate badhayega but then always remember this that it's not one interest rate increase by fed which will decide the course of the market it's the intent of fed to constantly increase the interest rate that will decide the course of the market so yes march ke andar mein ek vyaj dar badhne ki baat ho rahi hai but that is because of the growth so possibly interest rates will go up and stay here because government has clearly fed has clearly mentioned that interest rate badhenge but it may not happen that it will continue for long period of time aur agar aap purana history dekhoge to 2008 ke andar mein jab mandi aayi thi 2009 ke baad se bhi jab interest rates badhe the so there was a bit of coolness in the market thoda market cool kiya tha but wapas se rally chalu ho gayi thi even though interest rates were going up so what i am saying growth agar hai to market super jayenge interest rates shayad upar chale jaye या इंटरेस्ट रेट्स अगर वहां भी रह गए तो ग्रोथ के साथ मार्केट ऊपर जाएंगे वहां पर जो टेक स्टॉक्स थे जो प्लेटफॉर्म स्टॉक्स थे दोस्ट ओवर वैल्यू देव करेक्टेड क्वाइट अट इन यूएस 
एंड जहां पर किसी भी मेजर एसेट क्लास में एक फॉल चालू हो जाता है तो उसका एक स्पिलवर इफेक्ट दूसरे एसेट क्लास में आता है तो पॉसिबली इंडिया के अंदर में एक शॉर्ट टर्म नेगेटिविटी जो कि यहां नेगेट हो गई थी एंड यू नो इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू प्रेडिक्ट दीज दिस नेगेटिविटी विच गॉट नेगेटेड हेयर हैज अगेन गॉट री इंस्टॉल्ड दिस नेगेटिविटी विच गॉट just a minute sorry this negativity which got uh, you know negated here it's again getting in stock to ab prashna ye aata hai ki sir karna kya hai bataiye na kya lag raha hai market ye bataiye thoda kyunki positions khade hain aur market aapko kya tezi lag raha hai bandi lag raha hai abhi kya lag raha hai dekhiye broadly market ka direction dollar define karta hai और डॉलर जो है अभी वहीं पर ही है ऊपर जाके करेक्ट करके वहीं पर ही आ गया तो मार्केट का अभी मेरे लिए कोई क्लियर कट डायरेक्शन बताना डिफिकल्ट है और यू नो द फैक्ट इज दैट आई कांट आई कांट कॉम्प्रीहेंड व्हाट इज गोइंग टू हैपन इन द मार्केट एटलीस्ट बजट तक तो कुछ आइडिया नहीं लगेगा तो अगर मुझे नहीं समझ में आ रहा है तो मैं मार्केट का कोई व्यू नहीं बनाऊंगा तो मैं क्या करूंगा मैं वापस से अपने स्टॉक्स के अंदर में जाऊंगा और मेरा जो स्टॉक्स का वर्किंग है उसी वर्किंग के अंदर में आई विल ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट स्टॉक्स जहां पर स्ट्रेंथ है आई विल एंटर दो स्टॉक्स एंड आई विल ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट स्टॉक्स जिसमें वीकनेस आ रहा है एंड आई विल एग्जिट दैट स्टॉक एंड माय मॉडल इज एज सिंपल एंड एज क्रिस्टल क्लियर एज इट कैन गेट ओके आई हैव बुक्ड सम ऑफ माई स्टॉक लॉसेस हैविंग सेट दैट i am carrying few stock positions as well which are not in losses jaise example ke roop mein ye sab kuch stocks hain jinme mere positions hain kyun kyunki ye strong stocks hai for example maruti it's a strong stock two hourly chart mein bhi strong hai so there is no reason for me to exit this stock for example <coughs> jindal steel strong stock see the chart Two hourly, it's a strong stock, so there is no reason for me to exit the stock. For example, IFM Finance, sorry, IFL Finance was for a short tenure, so I am still holding it because on a two hourly basis the stock is strong, and there is strong fundamental reason for me to hold this. So I am going slightly contrary to my view here, but I am okay to hold on to that contrary view. So wherever I am seeing my stock still strong. and there is enough evidence of strength in the two hourly chart i am not exiting my position but i am definitely exiting my positions where i am seeing negativity let's take an example of this stock called uh, cotton greaves right where i am holding some positions ab iske andar mein kya ho raha hai strong stock strong jab hua tha to decent buying thi weakness mein volume nahi hai गिर रहा है तो भी स्ट्रॉन्ग है टू आवली में भी स्ट्रॉन्ग है हाउ डू आई प्ले दिस स्टॉक द ओनली थिंग विच आई डू इज इंक्रीज माई पोजिशन इन दिस स्टॉक ओके लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मोतीला लोसवाल ओके वॉट इज हैिंग देयर इट हैज फॉल इन इट्स अ स्ट्रॉन्ग स्टॉक टू आवरली के अंदर में अभी तक सुपर ट्रेन नेगेटिव हुआ है बट आर एस टू आवरली नीचे नहीं गया तो आई विल नॉट एक्सिट दैट स्टॉक See, try to understand. Look, don't look at my stocks. Just try to understand what I am trying to do in the market. I am here to just look at stocks which are continue to be strong, and I am holding my position because they are strong. The moment they are showing me weakness, or weakness के लिए best है कि two hourly chart देखिए. Two hourly chart में अगर super trend negative है और RS zero के नीचे चला गया है, तो just square up the position. Okay? or if you see there is reduction in momentum for example agar rsi bhi yahan pe 50 ke niche chala gaya hai so you can exit your trade okay momentum daily momentum mein rsi 50 ke niche chala gaya so you can exit your trade but my model is very simple i look at two hourly chart super trend in rs aur usme dono mein agar negativity aati hai to main exit karta hu nahi to main exit nahi karta hu See what happens. Market will always give you these, uh, you know, reactions, and it will it will 
टेक यू टू दैट वीकनेस की ये वीक स्टोन में काम हो रहा है मैं एग्जाम्पल देता हूं आपको केपीआई टी यू कैट दिस स्टॉक you know we have talked about kpit uh, in in club many times look at the strength of this stock now there is no reason for me you know to feel jittery about this stock because it's still a strong stock rs 2 hourly may be a strong hai so i will find reasons to buy this stock and the best reason is to buy at these critical levels chhota chhota capital ye critical levels pe daliye kyunki ye strong stock mein abhi bhi hai so whichever stock is becoming weak no harm exit beat loss beat profit exit and whichever stock is still strong you can continue to hold on those stocks till they become weak so every day what i do in fact i recorded a youtube video in this and i'm sure you must have seen this every day what i do out of this 100 stocks you know some of the stocks where i have positions are blue some of them where i have exited are still blue i still need to you know check my position today i have exited few so i'll remove the blue so i come every morning and i'll see the stocks which i have in my tracker and if i see any stock coming near my demand zone which is near my moving averages or important buying zone and rs is still greater than 0 i'll make an attempt to buy that stock okay uh if the stock is falling i will make an attempt to buy the stock and if the stock is not falling if it is a strong stock i will try to find breakout points from where the stock can give further momentum and i will build position in those stocks ye mera model mai continue kar raha hu i have no problem with this model i'm still smiling i have position in the market but i am not worried about them because this model has been working for some time and this looks to be a very very logical model so anyone who has any doubt any question you know i am here i let me just take few questions what exactly is bothering you guys let me see uh in this market i am battling my own emotions fear greed and hoping to run my system that i have said i think having control over my mind is the biggest barrier and challenge that i am facing absolutely niranjan i can totally relate myself to you when i started in the market i was like this but as you grow in the market as you become mature you start believing in yourself which adds strong conviction to your mental strength so aap please chinta mat kijiye let it go don't worry and your capital to in the deployment in the market should not be the one which should bother you to agar aapko capital deployment se botheration ho raha hai to aap mat market mein aaiye main aapko ek cheez dikhata hu maine learn to invest uh, you know main abhi kar raha hu i don't know how many people are seeing this learn to invest series isme maine ek bahut acha record kiya hai kal and you know you guys should see this on wednesday tomorrow uh, saturday when i'm going to make it live this is basically a formula which i have given to you to make you aware who you are this excel sheet is phenomenal ye humne banaya hai to arrive at your mental frame niranjan this excel sheet which we will share with you because video will be live tomorrow and do see this video of identifying who you are and after you go through this excel sheet you will be able to see which is actually a good uh, you know path for me am i a good active investor passive investor aggressive investor or conservative investor so do look at this excel sheet in my video tomorrow is this market buy on a uh, dip dip sir well i don't know milin very honest i don't know what is this market it could be a confusing market but what i all i know is that my strong stocks are remaining part of my portfolio and my weak stocks are continuously exiting out of my portfolio as simple as that what is the outlook for it stocks all right so this is a question which needs to be answered to so, chalo it stock ke bare mein baat karte hain so again we have to see what which it stock is doing what okay 
so let us go to sectors sector index and let us go to it okay kaha hai it yeah so let us see stock by stock so tech mahindra already an exit signal has come here yahan pe aaya sorry yahan aaya tha super trend negative rs below zero already an exit signal has come here on base of two hourly chart and you guys i always recommend two hourly chart because your risk appetite is obviously a lesser than me to two hourly chart se aap dekhiye lnti already exit mind tree so if you follow your system wisely your system is giving you exit calls at the right time infosys already an exit so this is basically a sell which got initiated here so you have already exited here okay although daily chart is suggesting you to buy but i will only buy when my two hourly chart is also supporting that buy or i will start buying small quantity at every support zone okay so i will look at stocks which are showing a bit of strength unfortunately it is not showing strength already it has gone into weak zone uh, but on a eod basis stocks like infosys is showing strength tech mahindra let me see tech mahindra is a bit strong so you can start with small capital so if you are looking at daily chart you have to trade based on daily and exit based on two hourly if you are conservative person and if you want to trade only when two hourly chart is giving you confirmation then trade based on two hourly chart and also exit based on two hourly chart this model has been clearly clearly communicated to all of you i hope you learn this my tra learn to trade has taught this i have conducted enough uh, sessions to give you this knowledge if you are still stuck and you are not able to understand please uh, feel free to connect with us if you are a tmp member if you are a stockage social member you are already there uh, i'm there so connect with us so that you are able to understand this model loud and clear okay so as i said uh, I, we will not be able to take many take many questions if you have question please feel free to connect with us in in the both the platforms either as a tmp uh, we are available on whatsapp group or in shocket social if you want us to connect and if you are not part of stocket social yet please become part of this community i'm sure you will find lot of value in this community all right uh, guys thank you so much for uh you know giving your time and i hope uh, these sessions are useful uh, shorodeep has been absolutely amazing in sharing his knowledge and i am doing my bit so that you all at least you become mentally more prepared to handle this kind of market all right thank you so much guys have a great weekend relax read some books keep patience do not get bothered with the market do homework saturdays are the best time to spend 2 3 hours in the market learn your setup and just follow your setup with a good good healthy lifestyle thank you so much bye bye take care